The Patriots improved to 2-0 in conference action with an 8-0 win over Valparaiso on Saturday. Today, DBU looks to complete a three-game sweep of the Crusaders in the series finale from Horner Ballpark. Deuce is wild. Here's the 2-2. There's a strikeout. Got him swinging right there on the fastball at 88. Heaton gets out of the inning. Wide stance awaits from the left. Now the one-two pitch from Fricky. Grounded and inside the bag at first and fair towards the corner. Isaacson turns on the Jets, digging for two. Now Wickman has trouble finding the baseball. Isaacson's headed for third. It's a double and then the error by Wickman as he just completely couldn't find the ball down there in the right field corner. Concedes the run. Here's a fly ball struck towards right, angling towards the lines. Wickman should be deep enough for Isaacson to score. He makes that catch in fair territory. Here comes Wickman's throw. Isaacson dives head first. He's in there. So the throw is cut off. Hands on the third base side of the rubber. And here comes the payoff pitch. There's strike three. He throws him on a big curveball. Shaken strikes out. Four Ks for Heaton through three. Here is the 0-1, and Glowinki hammers it down the left field. Riley Dent going back, and it's over his head and off the wall. Speaking of doubles, here comes Jimmy Glowinki into second with one. His 10th double of the year. Augie already with 15 at the halfway point. Here's the pitch, and it's ripped towards right field. Wickman giving chase, still looking up, and it's over his head and off the wall. One run in. Here goes Isaacson to third. He stops there. It's a double for Glenn. His 14th of the year. Now here comes Isaacson. Throws way late. He's there with a head first slide. Two run score. Patriots lead it now three to nothing. 1-0 pitch. Line drive and the hit streak will be extended. 14 games. That's going to bring in a run. Glenn scores from third. 4-0 Patriots now in the third inning. Pauses. Kicks, comes home, spins a curve. There's strike three. Six strikeouts now for Heaton as he strikes out a pair in the fourth. Built on a 4-0 lead in the bottom of the fourth. Bowell breaks the pitch, grounded in between short and third into left field. Easily going to score Bowell. RBI single for Jimmy Glowinki, and that's how you draw it up. They're blown to right, or today it's blown in from center. Now it's a double play ball possibly. Grounded to second. Jones over to second for one. They turn it over to first base for a twin killing. 4-6-3 double play ball. Xavier, they've blown a lead. Here's the delivery and a swing and a miss. That elevated fastball got Brent Jones. The inning is over. Pause. Here's the pitch. And he struck him out. Got him swinging. The slider tail down and gets Jones. There's two gone. Out of the stretch, here's the pitch. A chopper and Glenn snags it at third. Throws from foul territory. Ball holds the bag. What a dazzling play to end the inning. Jarecki set. Now fires, ground ball, fair past the dive of the third baseman Jones, down towards the corner. On his horse is Blaine Jones. He's going to get the green line. Here comes the throw in. Bainey's got a double, and Jones is going to score easily. 6-1 on a two-out double from Luke Bandy. Keckley pauses, now delivers. There's strike three. The swing and the miss by Wickman on the slider that ran away from him, and there's two outs in the ninth. As the sign comes home, soft ground ball to third. This should do it. Glenn has it, fires to first. Patriots win it. 6-1 the final this afternoon. They sweep Valparaiso to open up Missouri Valley Conference action. They're now 21-6 here in the 2019 season.